Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel Technologets. In today's video, we will learn about the Mitsubishi Robot User Defined Area function or you can say a parameter. So in that function, if suppose you want to get an output from robot, like if two robots are working and they have a same working area, uh, so they are sharing the same uh, area for working and you do not want that uh, the both the robots are operating at the same time. So in the user defined area, you can use, uh, you can uh, say that you can uh, ask the robot to generate an output if the, if the robot is working in that particular area. So let's see how it is done. Now, I have this uh, robot in simulation mode. <coughs> Now I will open the simulation here, the parameters. If you have online, then you will open the online option. Then movement parameter, and this is a user defined area. I will just double click here. Now, so I will set the output number 20 for the robot for the area number one. You can use up to eight areas. So, okay. Now for area number uh, one that is output number 20 you need to select an area yeah, so I will just jog the robot back left and let's suppose the bottom area so I will teach this point teach this now again I will move the robot to front right and Z up Suppose this is that area in which I want to <coughs> get a signal from robot. So I will just replace this values like minus 182 or you can say minus 360. This is will be plus 360 so that I can get values only if I'm moving x, y, z, not the angle. I will write this yes. After this, the program will the robot controller will restart. So we need to wait for this. Uh, for the area, you can see the user defined area here. I will just show you. Click on the RC one here in the layout tree. So you will get this options here. So I will use the user defined area. Okay. Now the display and make it true. So you can see the box or the area you which you have made using that. So I have taught this point that is user area 1 P1 and the other point is this one area 2 P2 area 1 sorry area 1 P2. So both these points I have taught in diagonal and this has made in a square box 3D square box. So I, when I will jog at that time I will get the output number 20. So output number 20 will be 16, 17, 18, 19 this one here. So let us see. So I said moving the X backwards just bring it in the z-axis down see the this output is turned on this is 16 17 18 19 and 20 you can 
you see the if i move a little bit forward more forward a little bit more forward the output is gone so i will just reduce the speed here move back to the point see the output is here so when the robot is in this particular area it will generate output number 20 the same if i move towards y plus just increasing the speed y plus see the output value is gone just enter the enter the vision and it's here so this will help you a lot if you want to this uh, you know uh, for the safety of uh, robot working area so if some other operation are there so you can uh, use this feature to uh, maximize your safety of robot so if you like my video please like share and subscribe thank you